Hey guys, welcome to another episode in my tips and strategies for PUBG. And in this game, um, I'm going to call it location, location, location. Um, just how important it is to kind of just focus on, you know, where you're at, where you're trying to get to, and whether or not it makes sense to engage somebody, uh, whether or not to, um, and just sort of trying to figure out, especially uh, at the end, something happens where it's really important to kind of know the location of where these shots are coming from. Um, and we'll get to that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in here. And lately, the replays have been acting up a little bit. Uh, like it will show people and then they'll fade out. I don't know. So anyway, I, I drop into Los Leones and um, I'm hitting this house. Now, I had seen this guy right over here, Beckenby, and I, it was kind of obvious from watching this person play. They're just sort of new to the game. So I knew that this guy was in this building with me, and I didn't get to go up onto this warehouse like I had wanted to. In fact, I wonder what was up here. Uh, okay, nothing too fantastic. So... I knew that there was somebody with me. Now, what I didn't know was that this guy, obviously, is pretty new to the game. Um, and I, it was just kind of obvious from the way that they were going into rooms, out of rooms. Yeah, they're fading out right there. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, they're right there. Um, so what this person is doing is going through this building. I've already been in a couple of these rooms, but once I knew they were in the building with me, I took off to get to the warehouse. Usually, I can find better stuff over here. And... All that really ends up happening is th this guy, he knows that I'm somewhere around, but he ends up taking off, doesn't go to the third floor, runs over here, runs into this building, and then runs right into here. And uh, this is why I say he's probably a new player, because it, it would have made sense that I was still close. I mean, he should have been able to kind of hear you know, my location um, from where the footsteps went. So there's a chance that this guy was just kind of playing with... Uh, um, not using a headset, maybe. So I see the guy right there. I get a headshot on him. I get his helmet off. And, or her. Run around the side. And she gets a hit on me. So I take a little bit of damage right there. Uh, and she didn't have much. But she did have a med kit. Now the med kit ends up being important uh, for the end. And the thing that I did not have this game. I found one... Uh, energy drink in the game and that was it uh, and I end up using it just to get my health back um, full speed and then I didn't find anything else so I end up um, taking some damage because I wreck a car and when I wreck uh, I take a little bit of damage and that ends up being sort of a uh, problem now if I remember correctly uh, Kimurp is a guy that we will see a little bit later on. Uh, I think he's at the end of the game. I'm, I'm, I'm positive that's the guy. Um, so we'll see him at the end. So kind of look at the circle. So I know where I'm at. I'm in Leone's and I need to get over to this side. Now, uh, based on where the plane came in, what I was trying to do was going to be to uh, get to the south. So um, I am... Yeah, at this point, I had taken a vehicle, I had come up, I was in a muscle car, and I'm trying to go through the desert, and I end up wrecking it. So, this is no big deal, it's fine. Um, I hit another warehouse, um, uh, I don't find any painkillers, energy drink, nothing. It was really annoying, uh, but I found several first aid kits. So, I was okay on health, I just wasn't going to be at full strength, and I think at this point I had full health, but the circle comes in. And what ends up happening is um, I found a, a dune buggy, gone down, coming around. I was on a motorcycle, and then I went down to and found a dune buggy, and now I'm coming across. And we're going to just kind of keep going here. So slow it back down here. Now, where I'm currently at, I am over here on this side so you can see that I'm in the circle I'm, I'm basically way south and what I'm trying to do is I know I'm gonna have to cross this street which 
I didn't know that there weren't there weren't any people at all over here, um, and that's you know it's a dangerous when you're going down into this valley. So what ends up happening is this guy comes along, uh, and I'm gonna slow it down just so you can kind of see uh, sort of what happens with me. So I'm lining this guy up, and I'm debating about taking the shot. But what I'm thinking is okay. This guy doesn't see me. He doesn't know where I'm at. So I'm just going to wait to take the shot. So as he's coming along here, he actually jumps out. And when he jumps out, I think what he's going to do is run up the hill. And it's like, okay, well, he won't have any cover. I'll, I'll basically get this guy down, shoot him in the back. Well, what he ends up doing instead, he jumps onto a motorcycle. So once he jumps onto the motorcycle, guys, this is where, you know, I've got a shot of opportunity, but I don't. I don't take it and the whole reason I don't take this shot is because this guy is not going into the same location that I'm trying to go to I'm trying to cross the street I don't want to give away my position especially once he jumps onto a motorcycle he's a little more difficult to hit and this guy basically is tearing up you know the road going north so the amount of noise that he's giving off by being on the motorcycle is sort of a distraction for anyone that would be around me so anyone that would be close by me on this side even over here they're going to be looking at the motorcycle they're not going to be looking in my direction so I'm using him as a distraction so this is just a good example of you know try to use other people for your immediate need and my immediate need was to cross the street because it is a wide open area here and when it's wide open uh you know you're easy to get taken out so it's just i made the decision like i'm gonna let this guy go i'm gonna use him as a distraction and that will be that so set it back to two times and yeah there's Kamurp now we will definitely see this guy uh, even further on now I'm completely unaware that there is no one over here and which I was really kind of shocked I thought I thought for sure that there would be somebody based on where the plane uh, had been you know it kind of came down through here um, I thought people would have worked their way over to Val Del Mar uh, and they're not within the kilometer of me so maybe there were people there and they just went north and came over but it turns out there's no one around me now you'll end up seeing Kamerp he actually is the one who comes closest to me uh, he runs right in front of me but I don't see this guy uh, and I end up taking a shot at Jobo here in a little bit as well it was actually a pretty good shot if I do say so myself all I had was I had the SLR with a four scope um, and that's all that I had as far as sniper rifle went so uh, we'll kind of show you so Jobo actually goes up onto the top of that hill I'm working my way over so I'm in sort of the best position um, for what I was trying to do because I was just trying to come up from the south and yeah geez that just scared me <laughs> I thought the shot was a little bit later on all right so <laughs> so I actually took a shot and I hit this guy um, and so he doesn't know where the shot is he knows the general area um, and so he actually had looked back thank goodness this guy I mean he's got I think that's the m24 or m29 I don't know what it is um, so thank goodness he didn't see me because he actually probably would have gotten me down with one nice shot if he had found out where I was um, yeah I'm not gonna edit out me getting scared that was pretty funny so I take a shot I actually hit that guy and the only other guy that's even in my area and this is why I didn't want to keep firing at him because I knew I wasn't gonna get that guy down he was too far away and I only had a four scope so Kamerp ends up coming up and he's really close to me I don't hear him I don't see him even when I start moving north this guy ends up kind of moving over to uh, my left and so we're both approaching the circle from the same sort of direction but we just never encounter one another uh, the whole time so at this point um, you know I've got one person down and I'm just trying to move uh, north 
and I keep looking behind me thinking that someone's going to show up and no one ever does. So we'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit more. So again, circles were pretty good to me this game. Uh, I never had to travel too far to get to where it is that I needed to be. So we're down to 12 people at this point. I was trying to hug the blue line right here just to see if there would be anybody kind of coming up from this area. Uh, I knew anyone coming on this side wouldn't be stupid enough to kind of go down into the valley and then up to here and then into the circle like they would approach from here. Uh, so I wasn't worried about that. Um, we've got guys coming in from over here. Do, 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 and we're going to slow this down because something happens right here, which is pretty funny. So, trade wars. This guy is coming up <laughs> from here. He's trying to get to the circle because at this point, it's going to be too much damage uh, for people to take. So this guy is coming up the hill. <laughs> Sir Air Bear. <laughs> he does his best. <laughs> and it's all over. So this guy gets run over by Trade Wars. He takes him out. He goes back, raids him. And there's a guy right over here, Irishman. And we'll see him later on as well. And he's trying to get up here. Finally makes it. I mean, he gets. He, this guy got so lucky that he didn't take more damage uh, than what he did. I mean, this guy gets really lucky. I'm amazed he got up here and into the circle. But he comes up and he actually sees Trade Wars right in front of him. But Trade Wars doesn't hear him. And so he's able to make it to the circle. He heals up. He scopes this guy down, but he doesn't take him out right there. He ends up getting into a fight with this guy right down here because he'll hit the uh, he'll hit the airdrop. Once he hits the airdrop, um, he gets a level three helmet, level three vest. But unfortunately for him, uh, Irishman ends up uh, seeing him, gets a couple really good shots on the guy, and ends up taking him out. Do, do, do. So these two are exchanging fire. Irishman ends up winning uh, that fight. So we're now down to five people. And X-Man had just gotten taken out by Jobo, which is the guy that I was shooting at earlier. This, this fight went on for a little bit. So I'm hearing all of these shots over on the other side. And uh, Irishman moves over, gets that final shot, takes him out. So now we're down to four people. So I know where one person is at this point. I just don't know where the other people are. So again, I'm just kind of working my way down, uh, getting into the circle. Um, and something kind of key happened here. I, had, I thought I had seen somebody... Um, down here in this valley working their way up the hill. Turns out there wasn't anybody, but I thought that's where somebody was. Uh, you know, I would have sworn I had seen someone. So I kept looking in this direction thinking I was going to see somebody. So we're going to kind of show you the uh, where everybody is at this point. So I'm convinced there's somebody over on this side. I was wrong. So Kamerp is the only one in the circle at this point. Jobo is had been in this building for quite a while. <clears throat> uh, and so he's the only one who's like really far from the circle. Irishman's going to work his way down. I'm continuously looking over here. And what ends up happening is... Irishman ends up seeing me. Now, when he sees me, he uh, takes shots. He actually hits me twice. Thank goodness he was using the Mini-14. Otherwise, I would have gone down. So we're just going to fast forward real quick here. Um, and when he does this, I end up getting out of the way. I get, I'm able to get to some cover. And when I get to cover, uh, I take my med kit. So I get back to full health. Um... Yeah, this guy just keeps looking for me, and I don't know why these uh, things just 
guys fade in and out. I, I don't get it. So this is this is where he basically ends up. He's by this rock. So this guy just uh, is continuously looking for me. Jobo is now working his way over from where he had been. So now he's in the circle. So at the moment, I'm the only one not in the circle. And that ends up being uh, a problem because this guy sees movement. Once he sees the movement, uh, he ends up taking shots. I get lucky. Hits me twice. And I'm able to get down. So right then and there, it, you know, I get really lucky that this guy doesn't get me down. Now, what he's unaware of is where Kamurp is. Same with me. I'm also unaware of where this guy is. So the whole time I'm sitting here healing up, I was convinced I was about to get sniped because there was someone down here. I don't know why I always shake the camera when I'm looking in a direction. But yes, in this direction, I thought that there was somebody... So Jobo hears all these shots. So when he hears these shots, uh, he does a good job in sort of approaching um, Irishman over here. And so he ends up kind of moving over. Um, he probably should have waited, I think, to take some of these shots. Irishman starts chucking grenades. Doesn't get this guy down, so Irishman knows where these shots are coming from. And that is it for him. So, Jobo goes down. Irishman does a good job. I think yeah, if he had chucked a grenade over there, that probably would have worked out really, really well. Um, the guy who was chucking the latest grenades is this guy right here, Kamert. Um he knows that there is somebody right over here. So he's chucking grenades. The problem is he's not throwing them at the right angle, and a bunch of them actually like will hit um, this uh, hill and then roll it back down the hill back towards Kamerp. And so I get really, really lucky because Irishman knows the general direction that I am. So when he knows the direction, he's looking for me. Unfortunately for him, I actually see him. I end up taking shots. When I'm taking shots, he tries to sight me down. The problem is he ends up sighting down Kamerp instead of me. So, I'll kind of show it from my perspective. You know, I had taken those shots, and when I heard um, uh, when I heard him getting into that fight with Jobo, I'm rushed down immediately, and I start working my way over. And I didn't want to go over here because it's too far down into this valley. Uh, I was going to have to work my way up, and I wasn't going to have enough cover. So I had more cover by moving over to this side. Um, so I'm now trying to sight this guy down. I see where he is. I take shots right there. So we'll kind of show it from Irishman's perspective. And so... Right there, I hit the guy, um, I hit him once, and he had, he, like I just showed you, he's sighting down Kamerp at this point. Then all of a sudden he realizes, it, that's not the guy shooting at him, it's me over here. So, he hits me, nails me right there, but I get a headshot on the guy and I'm able to get him down. So, I'm going to leave it at, at um, slow right here, uh, because this is where... I just get really, really lucky. And this is why I'm talking about location. Kamerp is the, caught in the middle between uh, Irishman and myself. Now, I'm oblivious to this guy being here. I'm still convinced at this point that the last guy is over on this side, which was another reason that I didn't want to run over to this side. I wanted to try to stay over here. So I'm positive this guy is right here. What Kamerp, where he makes his mistake is he's listening to these shots. Anytime you're sort of caught in between and you're listening to like the last two guys have a firefight, what you always want to do is wherever you hear the direction of the last shot, that's the guy who won. What Kamerp ends up doing is he keeps looking back he looks in my direction, then he'll look in this direction. He looks in my direction, then he looks in this direction. And he doesn't know where these shots came from. So all of a sudden, I run around the side, 
see this guy and I get this guy down now if this if if Kamerp had just kind of focused and known where these shots were coming from there's no way I would have been prepared for that final fight if he had worked his way over and just been like already sighted down looking in my direction this guy would have gotten me down immediately because I wasn't prepared for that fight because I was positive someone on the other side so this is why it's so important I think to play with a headset um, because it really helps you figure out exactly where the shots are coming from and you've got to know the location of where these shots are because that's what's going to help you get some of these chicken dinners is knowing where the last guy is and I just the other day I was playing I got down to heads up and I knew where the last guy was and I didn't trust myself I thought there's a chance I heard it wrong and the guy ended up taking me out and I was so mad because I realized like idiot you knew where the guy you knew where he was and you just didn't trust yourself because uh, you knew where those shots were so again so it's not like I'm not dogging this guy because I just made the mistake the other day so this is why it's so important to make sure that you know where these shots are coming from you want to play with a headset it will make a difference um, but just you know it's like going back to when I let that guy go by on the the, the truck and then on the motorcycle is it just made sense guys the location of where I was trying to get to really didn't involve the guy on the motorcycle so I didn't need to give away my position I didn't need to take those shots I was going to use him as a distraction because he was going nowhere where I was trying to get to so alrighty guys thank you so much for watching I do appreciate it and we will catch you next time see you